So the decision was made at the beginning that we would want to have a hybrid solution in our boat. So that would be a combination of solar and battery power and be using an electric motor for propulsion. It's not that this hasn't been done before, it's that we want to do it and we want to do it in a way where it is lighter and is the fastest way for us to get around the world. Well, we've seen two, two teams now, uh, Axiona with, uh, with uh, Booby in, uh, what year was that, 2012? And then this time we saw, last time we saw Comrade Coleman say around the world without any fossil fuels. Booby would have made it with Axiona, but his keel fell off, unfortunately. And, uh, and so it's something that is possible now. The question is, is it a performance disadvantage? And in, in how we've orientated the boat with the solar panels and the electric engine and everything, I believe we can sail around the world without any fossil fuel and for it to be a performance advantage. When we started this, I wouldn't say necessarily we knew we could put a package together, we, but if no one tries to do it, then, then it's never going to be achievable. So we've been and we've partnered with uh, Gokerman for our solar panels, we've partnered with Ocean Vault for our motor, and we've pushed those suppliers to help us put together a package which allows us to have a system which is sustainable, which can race around the world, and be comparable, if not lighter, on that race than a standard diesel solution. But it did, it did require quite a bit of extra work. All the penetrations to get all the cables from every solar panel into the boat was quite challenging. Every panel has its own wire, so there's, a, there's I don't know, a hundred penetrations through the deck, which we had to, that had to be dealt with in terms of structure and how you do it neatly, waterproofing, so yeah, quite a bit of work there. That's the challenge, but it, we, anyone can install a solar panel array and get around the world, but doing it and also having a boat which is as light as it could be and better than if we used a diesel power system is the challenge. And unless someone like ourselves pushes people to start to do that, then it won't happen and it'll never become part of the sport. So by us taking a step on this edition, that's very likely that on the next edition you'll see more people adopting the technology that we've proven to work on this this cycle and then it will trickle down through the fleet thereafter. We'll have to see how it goes, but I think if one person can do that, if we could sail around the world without any fossil fuel and it be an advantage, that tells everybody, it sends a message that, that you don't have to compromise to be sustainable. And I think that's a very important message where we are today. So hopefully um, we'll be able to do it and hopefully we'll be able to do a little tiny part to change people's behavior.